Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I am your host, Anand Jr. We are at the last run of uh, the SNES edition of this uh, Games of My Youth interlude between Season 1 and Season 2. We started off this series with some uh, time wasters. We went on to do some fighting games, and we've been spending a little more time with a couple of different adventure games. These are by no means a complete list of the adventure games of my youth, but these were the ones that, uh, after all these years, I definitely remember the names. I definitely went to go look for, and um, I've been playing them in their release chronology not the chronology of when i got them like i got legend of zelda a link before time or a link to the past long before i got any of the other adventure games like ultima and that i have i picked up ultima later um so again don't don't take the order to mean anything other than it was the the publish the publish timeline uh, because I wanted to kind of get the get a better sense for the progression of graphics and gameplay and that sort of thing, and this is where this is where we get to go to a game by Quintet. I don't even know if they're still around anymore. We get to play through Illusions of Gaia. Th this was another one of those fun adventure games. It had some unique stuff, some standard stuff, and. Um, I don't even know how best to describe it. It came out in 1994. Oh, that's right. That that was Enix um, before it became Square Enix. So we had Square. We now had Enix. I forgot that Quintet was uh, merged with Enix. All right, Illusions of Gaia. Let's start this up. Um, it definitely has has some uh, high magic alternate history type stuff because you do end up uh, start from beginning start what journey I probably just missed some stuff that I really should have changed uh, oh I should also add this is another game that suffered uh, oh maybe not suffered suffered is probably not the right word uh, it definitely went through some some changes when Nintendo North America released the game like the in the original game as it was released in Japan and as it was released uh, elsewhere in the world th this is an actual um, church school but Nintendo North America uh, changed it to just school and that statue you see in the background was a cross in the original game release, but in uh, in the Nintendo North America, it was swapped out for a statue, which is why some of the dialogue and some of the other stuff will seem slightly odd. That that was the case for a lot of the RPGs that came that when they when they hit Nintendo North America, uh, they changed a few things, and it was it, some of it was rather oddly worked around. So, something if you if you remember playing these games and you remember some of the stuff seeming a little weird, it wasn't just because of the the language translation. It was because Nintendo North America had certain things that they would and wouldn't do, and things that what they wanted changed before it was released in the North America market. Um, for for whatever that's worth. All right. So my name is Will. A year has passed since I went to the Tower of Babel with my father. Um. To, to you biblical scholars, the Tower of Babel should sound familiar. And it wouldn't be as jarring if you if you knew that you were standing at a church. My father and his party met with disaster. Somehow I made it back to South Cape. I still can't believe my father is gone. I'll never believe it. So JRPG trope number 702. The protagonist starts with a dead father or mother or both. When I grow up, I'll be an explorer and see the world. Somewhere, I will meet my father. That was high and sound there, folks. Teacher, that's all for today's lesson. You four do your best not to fall behind. Demons, I, yeah, I love that you can't have a church, but you can have demons. 
Demons have appeared outside of town. If you go very far, you must go with your parents. I have to go home first. I'll see you guys there later. If you don't hurry home, your mother will think that you were kept after school. <laughs> Thanks. Are you going to mock me too? Like always, the cave at the seashore. Cave at the seashore? Oh, Will, please recite with me. The world shines on brightly through eternity. You're not equipped. What am I not equipped? Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright. Let's get out of here. South Cape. Oh, um... Hmm. Dark Space. I am Gaia, the source of all life. I will help you on your journey. Only one with the dark power can see the space. You are the chosen one. In the dark space, you can record a travel journal. Stop there before you depart. In other words, save your game. <laughs> That's right, this had a battery, so you had the save game slots and all the good fun that came with that. And like every adventure before and since, save frequently, save often. All right, let's record our adventure so far. Then go. <laughs> I mean, we haven't done. We have, we just started the whole thing, and we're already saving the game because, of course, we are. Hey, Will. How many times have I told you not to come up here? You have a habit of jumping down from places. Well, I guess I can't really stop you. Okay. Nope. Too far. I didn't want to go that far. I am the jeweler gem. I control the seven seas. What's your business? What's in your inventory? I'll give you goods for your jewels, as it is written on the list. Okay. Okay. I am a famous master of disguises. <laughs> I feel sorry for Seth. I understand why he hates to see his parents fighting every day. Um. <laughs> Gosh, I can't pull it up. Okay, I'm gonna refrain from the childish joke. <laughs> seaside Cave. It was natural for the four friends to call this seaside cave their second home. Usually when lessons were done at the school, they talked they gathered there to talk and play games until sundown. What is it? It's late. I'm playing cards. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, I'm going to win again for sure. Suddenly, Eric rushed in with a desperate look on his face. Big news! The prince of, uh, the princess of Edward Castle has run away. They said she came up to South Cape. That's all. You came in such a hurry that I thought something really big had happened. The princess is probably that spoiled girl, Kara, the one you like so much. Liar. Maybe the soldiers will come here looking for her. The soldiers from Edward Castle look so cool. I want a steel helmet, too. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Everyone's here. What should we do today? I want to see Will's mysterious power. Um, what? You haven't seen it? He can move things without touching them. He moved that statue that's in the corner of the cave. Show me again. Dude, if I knew how. Mm. Items. Yeah, no. I got nothing. Oh, 
I forgot about that. Pick a card, any card. I'll put four cards face down. Pick the one you think is the Ace of Diamonds. Oh. Oh no. This is only marginally better than high or low. At least with high or low, I got a 50-50 chance. The Ace of Diamonds! <laughs> hey! I'm speechless. This is some type of psychic power, right? <laughs> nope. Most people have five senses. Sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. I think Will's psychic power is some kind of sixth sense. But I don't see any dead people. What Seth says is too complicated for me to understand. Okay, so you get the idea. You're sent off adventuring. Uh, they give you the story as you run around the town and you meet people. And long story short, you go off on this grand adventure. And uh, this was a, this was another one of those fun games. Um, it definitely took a little while to set in. Like uh, unlike unlike Zelda. A link to the past. You're not. Uh, you're not immediately in the thick of adventuring right out the gate. You we're, we're already about what 15, almost 20 minutes in, and uh, we we've barely even scratched the start of the story. So uh, do do keep that in mind. That this was an involved game. It was a fun game. It had a lot to it, and. Uh, Oh, yeah. There are demons around. Alright. Let me jump off a building for no good reason. <laughs> I envy you when I see the sea breeze blowing in your hair like that. Yeah, okay. Let me stop before I get too, too, uh, too into this. Let's go ahead and close that content. Let's go ahead and get on over to the credits. And this is where I say thank you for joining along. If you've been watching on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to get notified when new stuff gets uh, posted. If you have any quips, queries, quotes, quandaries, or other complaints, leave them down in the comments below. If you liked what you saw, do leave a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. Uh, you are getting this on a delay if you're watching on YouTube. If you were watching live on Mixer or Twitch, you would have seen the whole thing in one fell swoop. So if that sounds appealing to you, click on Twitch or Mixer, whichever one is your choice in the description below, and uh, follow, follow along to get notified when I go live. Normally I do this Thursdays at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. The streaming page will always have my most current schedule. And if you are watching live on stream, thank you for joining along, especially for this extended stream. And uh, yeah, th this this one went a little bit longer. Again, I'm trying uh, trying a new format. I'm trying to get about six 20 to 25 minute episodes going. We had a little bit more back and forth in the middle. And uh, if you are watching live, you got a chance to do a little bit of chatting while I was getting stuff set up for the next thing and all that good fun. So if you want to be a part of that, definitely watch live and with all that said and done this uh closes out the last episode for the week then next time uh we start recording is going to be next thursday it might be a short one given the holiday season I, i'm not quite sure where things are going to sit uh with schedule so it's a little up in the air but definitely the first thursday in january we will start season two of games revisited and we will be playing through Chrono Trigger. Start to finish all 60 plus hours of gameplay. First episode will be a little bit of orientation, history of the game, that kind of thing. And then uh, and then we'll go from there. So if that sounds interesting, do again, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, whichever the proper nomenclature is for the system that you're following along on. And uh, definitely have fun. I'll see you next time.